Um, hello. I'm trying to figure out who I... Hello? Uh, oh, yes, sir. Yeah, glad to have you there. Hello. Um, I'm trying to figure out who I give a bunch of information to. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Um, do you live in Indiana? I do. Okay. okay. Uh, what county uh, do you live in? Laporte. Report? Okay. All right. Tell you what, this is headquarters uh, in Indianapolis. Um, okay. You, you live in Port County. Okay. Our uh, law post uh, covers, um, their jurisdiction is uh, Laport County, uh, District 13. Uh, if you'd like, I'll be glad to switch you right over uh, there to them for you. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, okay. Oh, you're welcome. Hey, anytime. Here, just a moment there. <laughs> Oh god, I love Central Indiana. Thank you for calling the Indiana State Police Road District. If this is an emergency, press 8 now. Please select from one of the following options so that we may best direct your call. For current road and weather conditions, press 1. For firearms licensing and handgun permit questions, press 2. For criminal history and background checks, press 3. For the Commercial Vehicle Enforcement Division, press 4. To reach the Low Regional Laboratory, press 6. To speak with the receptionist, press 7. For the Low District Dispatcher, press 8. For the Lafayette District Dispatcher, press 9. To reach the District Duty Officer, press 0. To speak with someone at State Police Headquarters, press star. To repeat these options, press pound. First, stay on the line, and a member of the Indiana State Police will assist you shortly. Thank you for calling the Indiana State Police Well District. If this is an emergency, press 8 now. Please select from one of the following options so that we may best direct your call. For current road and weather conditions, press 1. For firearms licensing and handgun permit questions, press 2. For criminal history and background checks, Press 3. For the Commercial Vehicle Enforcement Division, press 4. To reach the Low Regional Laboratory, press 6. To speak with the receptionist, press 7. For the Low District Dispatcher, press 8. For the Lafayette District Dispatcher, press 9. To reach the District Duty Officer, press 0. To speak with someone at State Police Headquarters, press 1. Leave when I try to record. <coughs> Hello, uh, I'm not really sure if I'm talking to the right person, but maybe you can get me there. Uh, hey, let me finish the call online right now, then I'll come right back to you. All right, no problem. Good afternoon. So, um, I'm, I'm sort of trying to figure out who I can who I can just give a bunch of information to, and and you can take it from there. And uh, there might be information that, that your agency handles and that another agency handles, but I'd like to give someone the entirety of it so they know what to do with it. Um, 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 all right. So it's in regards to a, a individual local to me. He's um, a convicted child molester, and he sort of got a, a, a string of nonprofits, um, and it, it's all just very sketchy. Um, it, they were started fraudulently with some some information in regards to the uh, an elected official here, um, 
and and sort of he has intentions of sort of uh, uh, trying to move a bunch of other convicted pedophiles to this town and and sort of trying to uh, you know portray them as homeless to get resources and stuff like this. I am very good at digging up dirt, to be quite frank. Um, I've, okay. I've, I've sort of put this um, to the ear of my, my local police, the county. Um, I've spoken to the attorney general's office today, as well as the secretary of state's office. Um, it, they're they're concerned with a lot of the paperwork stuff, but not really. Um, you know, if it's a, if I can prove a direct emergency abuse of child, then I'm supposed to call yeah. DCS. Um, but I, I I mean, in my opinion, I need a cop. I got a list of information here. I need a, I need an officer to be honest. Where does this individual live? Uh, Laporte, Indiana. This would be 101 Bond Street, uh, apartment three. Uh, the first thing you need to do is you'll go to Laporte PD. All right, and what if they have sort of not done anything with this? Um, You've already given it to the PD? I mean, I've, I've talked that's to Laporte PD. I've talked to the Sheriff's Department. I tried to talk to the to the ICAC when it was uh, sort of, I guess they were going through some administration changes. Um, I don't really know what's happened with it locally since then. Uh, we had like a change. Of, I'm sorry. None of these people have taken action on the information you've given them. Not, I mean, not that I can tell. I mean, a couple of the websites are down, but everything else seems to be up and running still. My guess is it's not something that we can take action on. Okay. Uh, you have to have, we'd have to have evidence, like hard evidence to go after things like that. Might be something that we can't prove. I can take your name and information, but... All right. My name is Chris Throgmorton, T-H-R-O-G-M-O-R-T-O-N. C-H-R spelling on the Chris. Yeah. And a phone number for you? <coughs> I'm sorry, what? Phone number to reach you at. I'm going to pass this along to the Texas Bureau, and we'll see what, the, what if anything, they can do about it. All right. Uh, 219-380-380. Eight one four two. Okay. All um, right. I, I will pass it along to my uh, first sergeant in charge of detectives and throw a thing of that to somebody. All right. Yeah. Yes, sir. Have a good day. <laughs>